everyone, if you've been coming to Chambray Acres for the past 10 years, then you must remember this as the Cuppy Yard. Well, Chambray is doing a reboot and we are remaking the Puppy Yard in another area on our property and I can't wait to show you the process along the way. Enrichment environments, puppy yards, or whatever you want to call them, are crucial to a puppy's development to increase problem solving and decrease any unwanted learned behaviors such as all result from boredom and frustration. So this is going to be the new puppy yard. It's uh, roughly 1,600 square feet. We got water right here, water source, uh, plenty of shade without having trees so that the birds don't roost in this area here and I can keep this as clean as possible from the puppies picking up anything that might be harmful to them. So another day at Chambray. Let's get to work. Hey guys, Kelly here. Uh, we're using a medium duty vegetation and weed killer. We want to get all these weeds and leftover grass crops that are growing in the yard to die and dissipate. They have a lot of bacteria and hookworms and other nasty things we don't want the puppies getting into. So I'm spraying it down now, mixing it with water with a general uh, spray connector. And we're going to go ahead and coat the whole yard. The great thing is this stuff only lasts for about four to six hours and it quickly evaporates. And by that time, we're probably already going to suffocate it by covering up with more sand to give this place a really nice finished look. down the foundation to the flooring here that's made out of 20 by 20 stepping stones but we need to encase it in lumber so that the sand is contained underneath and doesn't wash out so by doing this it keeps the dogs from digging underneath so this will provide a nice dry zone for the puppies underneath this tarp Objects, obstacles, puzzles, toys that you choose to put in your puppy yard should fall into these categories. Social, occupational, physical, sensory, and nutritional. Many of the enrichment tools that you're going to be using in your puppy yard can fall into multiple categories, so don't worry. Social enrichment is going to be the interaction that the puppies have with each other within the litter, with us as humans and with any other dogs that are in your environment. As dog trainers, we know how important it is for a dog to have a job. It helps the dog release pent up energy in a positive way. This is where occupational enrichment comes into play. You want to place obstacles, toys, puzzles in the environment that aim towards 
being either breed specific or giving your puppy a job. The next category is physical, which is kind of self-explanatory. You want to put in obstacles that make puppies go under, over, or through objects. This helps with the puppy's physical development. Another category we mentioned is sensory. You want to aim these towards the puppy's senses. Sight, smell, hearing. Adding enrichment tools that make noise will make the puppies more confident and less reactive in public as well as desensitizing them to noises and sounds. When considering visual sensory, you want to give the puppy different vantage points. So, obstacles that are of different sizes while still maintaining safe heights for them so that they are able to establish confidence as well as feeling safe in their environment, being able to see it as a big world picture. Examples of nutritional enrichment can be a puzzle in which they have to problem solve to get a treat out of, or a Kong filled with peanut butter during the teething process. I hope you guys are all as excited as we are. I'm just so excited to finally be showing you guys this. Are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. So we're gonna gonna walk through and I'm gonna show you everything.
right, well, you are here to see it. Their first introduction into the yard. You got to see them swim, play. They ate lunch, but now it's nap time. And Shambright Canine Community is signing out.